Hello, my name is Daniel West, and this is my MATLAB project for Engineering 267. I first made a function that performs an analysis of a common emitter amplifier. So let me just type in help. Common emitter analysis is the name of the function. It gives me a description. So uh, the code takes in the inputs, which are the amplitude of the DC source, the amplitude, impedance, frequency, and duration of the AC voltage source, transistor characteristics, including beta gain and early voltage, the voltage divider resistances, R1 and R2 that bias the base at the transistor, the swamped and unswamped emitter resistances, RE1 and RE2, the resistance of the collector RC and the load RL. Well, the description, it describes the inputs, which I just uh, described, and it tells you the outputs, which is what it is calculating. And it calculates a number of things, voltage at the base, voltage at the emitter, current at the emitter, slash collector. Uh, this assumes IC is equal to IE voltage at the collector, voltage between the collector and the emitter, output resistance due to the early voltage, a resistance of the base emitter junction, resistance of collector in parallel with load, input impedance at the base, total input impedance of the stage, uh, output impedance, input signal, total gain, output signal, uh, the optimum emitter resistance, maximum output swing, or max peak to peak, a current through the voltage divider, total current from the source, DC input power, AC power at the load, total power from the source, efficiency of the circuit, voltage at cutoff, saturation current, and those two create the DC load line, and then AC cutoff and AC saturation, which creates the AC load line. So this is the function. Just scroll through the formula. It's literally what I just showed you, but here's the formulas. Uh, I put comments so it was easy to follow. So, and then I created an app and this is the code view of the app. So uh, right off the bat, also the function, which these are all the outputs. Here's the function and here's all the inputs. And so it calls the function, sends it back. You have to, I had to change the name of the, values that it was calling back to to associate it with the field in the GUI. And then here in the uh, app, I determine if it's a stiff voltage divider um, using if and else statement. And then from here, it plots the DC and AC load line and the input and output waveforms. So let's run this and see what it looks like. So it's preloaded. Um, I put this picture here so you know, it makes it a little more intuitive. I know there's a lot we're looking at, but if you've played around with common emitter amplifiers or if you get to, um, you know, one of the classes where you have to analyze one of these circuits, this makes the class, uh, you know, a lot easier when you're doing multiple stages. So the voltage VCC is 20 volts. The series resistance would be any series resistance before the cap is 8.2K. R1 is 10 megs. R2 is 620K. RE1, the swamp resistor, is 270. RE2 is 430. RC is 24K. And the load, 
if there was a load that we were connecting up to 0.7 K, uh, the beta gain of the transistor is 380 and the early voltage of the transistor is 100 volts. Uh, the signal generator, let's give it an impedance of uh, 50 ohms. The signal amplitude is 20 millivolts peak to peak. Uh, the frequency is up uh, one ki kilohertz. And the duration of the plot is going to be two milliseconds. We'll see two um, full cycles. So we'll go ahead and press the button. And we see this is the AC and DC load line and the input versus the output signal. So we noticed that the input was 20 volts peak to peak and the output we're seeing about 300 millivolts peak to peak. So this, it's a stiff divider. The voltage at the base right here is 1.0. 168 volts. The voltage at the emitter, which should be right there, is 0.4676. Voltage at the collector is 3.968. Uh, the Q point, which is going to be where these two intersect, VCEQ is 3.5. So we notice if you look look down at this graph, that's about 3.5, and I see EQ is going to be 0.67 milliamps, which you go back over to this graph, and that's roughly 0.67 milliamps. So the optimizing Q point, <clears throat> I really like this optim Whoa. really like the optimizing Q point. So 632. So right here, we're at 270 and 430. So if we just made this one 200 and 430, the emitter resistance adds up to 630. So then you press the button again. I want you to notice the max peak to peak right now is 3.24 volt. And now that we're going to optimize it, max peak to peak should go up. And it, it does, it goes up about 0.2 volts. And so the optimizing Q point is really cool because if you change your uh, collector resistance, like let's change it to 2500, and then the optimizing Q point should change. So now, now we see it's 600 and about 60, and now we're going into saturation. That Q point's closer to saturation. So uh, 660, so let's get this closer to 660. Let's add 30 to the swamp resistor. Now the load line Q point should go down, which it does. So that's the DC load line is going from 19.5 to about 0.7 milliamps. The AC load line is going from 3.5 up to about um, 1.5 milliamps. And then it calculates the impedances. So Z in at the base. At the end of the stage, which is the whole stage, little RC would just be RC in parallel with RL. And then Z out includes um, the early, early effect. So the base emitter resistance is dependent on the current. So it's the resistance of this diode. Uh, the total gain for the circuit is about 9. And we can see it's roughly about 9 because we're getting about 18.4 millivolts peak to peak. And then our output is 168.9 millivolts peak to peak. Our output swing, so the maximum this thing could increase before it starts clipping, 
his 3.45 volt peak to peak. And then we do uh, current drain. So I bias is the current going through the divider. And then I S is the total current at the source. And then we do the power and efficiency. So this circuit is three point, roughly 3.9%. how low this load can go. Oh yeah, that really killed it. We're almost at cutoff from 100 ohms. So it's really fun being able to, you know, play around with the numbers and see how much gain you can get. So taking off the swamp resistor and are optimizing Q points about 600. So let's just increase this to 600. Now our gain is still about 0.3 millivolts or 0.3 volt peak to peak. And our gain is 10. So, you know, changing the collector resistor around see if we can get more gain here we go 220 but we're going way up into saturation and we see uh, input is 20 millivolts peak to peak the output is about six so the um, Plotting the input and output signal, I wasn't able to get it to clip, you know, because the max output, it should clip at 1.66 volts peak to peak. So um, that might be another function for a later day is to try to get this to clip on the output signal to be able to follow the max peak to peak output swing. Because in real life, you hook this up to a circuit and it's just going to look almost like a square wave. But, yep, yeah, this is my project. Thank you. Have a good day.